I'm Nicholas Burns, and this is a way to work more sounds into a groove without changing the pattern. Sometimes in a song, there's a drum break or maybe a section where only the bass and drums are playing, where you want to bring more attention to the drum part without losing the groove by playing a lot of fills or solo style material. I'm going to take a simple groove, playing a paradiddle pattern with my hands, my right hand on the ride cymbal, my left hand on the snare drum, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. All the notes on the snare drum that don't occur on two and four, the backbeat, are going to be ghost notes. So here's what the hands are playing. Two and four are the accented notes, and all the other notes are lighter. And then the feet, I can just play one and three on the kick drum and two and four with my left foot on the hi-hat. So here it is. To make this groove a little bit busier sounding, a little more interesting, I'm going to add in three new sounds. Two of them are going to come from the hi-hat, and I'm going to do that by moving my hand from the snare drum to the hi-hat every time I play what was a ghost note. The backbeat will stay on the snare drum on two and four, and all other notes will be, will be played on the hi-hat. And because I'm playing the hi-hat also with my foot, there will be times when the hi-hat is open and I get an open sound, and times when the hi-hat is closed and I get a tighter sound. So here it is with the ghost notes moved to the hi-hat. To add one more sound to this groove, I'm going to put some of the notes that I'm playing with my right hand on the bell of the ride cymbal. So that's it. I'm just adding three new sounds to the groove. The pattern is the same. It's not really any more difficult to play. It is a slightly busier sounding pattern, but that might be something that's useful during a drum break or a time when you want to just bring more attention to what you're playing and raise the energy level.